Daddy, say good morning. 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 Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> she wants you to see her bow. That's why she's arching her neck. All right, let's show. Ivy, you want to show him your bow? Yeah. Ivy's got a bow. Look down. Oh, that's so pretty. You look so nice. Very nice. All right, today's agenda. Other hand, Rose. Do you want to get down or you stay right here? Do you want to get down? I don't want to leave you there. You stay right there? Okay. Daddy is going. Where are you going? Pick up a new toy. Daddy's going to pick up a new toy. So we have the golf cart that we use for feeding and stuff. Um, unfortunately, we've been using it to drag the pastures. So, you know, the horses poop a lot. And we have this like claw thing that we attach to the back of it and you drag the poop. And it basically like redistributes the manure all over the pasture and fertilizes the grass. And so it's just this nice cycle of um, poop and grass growth. However, uh, the golf cart just doesn't quite have the capabilities of pulling said greater scraper thingy and it died trying to do it on the hill on this one. So long story short, we needed to figure out a way to be able to pull that. Um, so we ended up deciding to get an ATV, um, something that we can use very like multi-purpose. So the golf cart will be like for feeding and stuff like that. And then we're getting this ATV that we will use for more of like the pasture work, whoops, sorry, the pasture work and, um, you know, doing the, the seeding and lime and all that kind of stuff, uh, poop spreading, all of that, more of like the farm work kind of stuff. So, found one on Facebook Marketplace. My dad found it and sent it to me. Um, a really good deal on a used one that, because uh, they're kind of expensive, but my dad found a really good deal on a used one that's in really good shape. It's about, it's in Georgia, so it's about an hour and a half from here where we are. Uh, so, CR is going to take the truck and the trailer. There's pigs in my house right now. As you don't chase, don't her. You like her, I know. She likes you too, you just have to be nice. They were, Lyle was just getting in his face earlier and licking him and stuff. They were both getting on top of him. But then the second he sees him walk off, that's when he gets faster, then he goes and chases him. Anywho, so Ciara's gonna take my parents' truck and trailer and drive down to Georgia and go get the ATV. Somebody is here, is that my mom? No, that is not my mom. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for right now. Uh, I don't know what the kids and I are going to get into. I've been painting in here over the weekend. I'm trying to get this living room. I'm working on like the living room, piano room makeover. So I painted this room in here. Um, I don't want to give too much away because I've got to like redecorate and stuff like that. Um, by redecorate, I mean hang what I've got and figure out what I want to keep and what I don't as far as decor goes. But that's what we're <clears throat> getting up to this morning thus far. Look at how big this guy is getting. Oh my goodness. Azzy. Azzy, are you tired, boy? He got up kind of early this morning. Um, so I took him out to go to the bathroom and he just kind of walked around, patrolling the property, if you will. He likes to go around, around the side here and up to the llama pen and check on the llamas. So he's kind of already assuming that role of, of livestock guardian dog, which is, which is nice. Um, but obviously we're, we're keeping him inside as much as possible. He's still only like 11 weeks old, but man, he is such a good dog. Shelby actually has already taught him to sit, um, kind of stay, lay down. We still have to work on like a recall. That's, that's the most important thing is we need to be able to say a word or say his name and get him to come back somewhere on the property. That way, you know, he's safe. So he is, he's an awesome stinking dog. <laughs> I just had to make a bunch of phone calls. When you move, which we haven't done in a long time, but when you move, there's a lot of things to switch over and change over and update and you forget about some of them until it becomes a problem that you haven't done it. And that is where I am at. Oh boy, making some messes in here. The kids are, well first let's just, let's just say hi to my boys, okay? Let's just say hi to mama's boys. My babies! Hello, my boys! Hello, Papa! 
Pacha. Hello, Pacha. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, you smell. I just ate a fig Newton, so he smells that. Cusco. Are you laying down? I don't want to bother you if you're laying down. Oh, you're so lazy. You're just going to stretch your neck to reach the grass. So I don't think they were out here at our last vlog, but we did finally open up this lower pasture for the llamas. We got everything uh, mostly cleared out for them. And so we let them down here. And of course they had to meet the horses because the horses are in this neighboring pasture here. I did not bring the camera down with me or my phone and I wish I would have. CR did, so we got a little teeny bit of footage that I'll try to insert if um, there was anything that's usable. But it was very interesting to watch them meet the horses for the first time. They were all very curious about each other, went both directions. Horses curious about llamas, llamas curious about horses. And it was funny to get to see some of their like more instinctual behaviors that we don't see normally. I call it crouching tiger hidden llama where Pacha approached the horses more of like head up like what is this ears forward and Cusco was right next to him and they looked like a pair of velociraptors and Cusco would get down like this and get his head really low and then he'd run towards the fence line um, like a velociraptor. <laughs> you Are you creeping up you on me? Are you showing that you creeping up on me? Ooh. Yeah. Um, so it was really, it was really interesting. So we watched and made sure that everybody was okay for a while before we just like walked away and left it. Um, oh, now you come, Cusco. You come for the kids. You don't come for me. That's so rude. Coming to see Noah. You coming to see Noah? Hey, Noah. You want to show everybody your lightning bolt? Noah. We finally found a great barber here. So Noah and Jonah went and got. Where are you? Where are you, JJ? You want to show them your haircut? But they found a barber and got their hair cut. So now they're looking real nice. Real nice. You want to say hi, Pacha? You say hi to Jonah? Yeah. Wow, you left really stinks. That's his face. Yeah. Hi, my baby. Why you not see me over the top of the fence? Why you not see me over the top of the fence? You want to see my camera. Yeah. All the animals are very curious about that. The microphone I have, hi. The microphone I have has a dead cat on it, which is a noise cancellation thing for wind. Um, but it's like big and fluffy. And they all look at it and think I'm like carrying around a small rat or something. Um, hi. Oh, your hair is blowing in the wind. He also hasn't seen me in a hat. Hi. He gets, he notices things. Um, like for example, he's sniffing my head. Like for example, the other day I wore perfume for the first time. Like since we moved here, I don't really wear a lot of perfume. And I wore some perfume and he was sniffing me. Hi Cusco. He was sniffing me like crazy. And even the horses were too. They were like, what? What, 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 what is that? Like you could tell they didn't really care for it much. So I don't really wear a lot of perfume these days, um, which is fine. I don't mind, but the animals prefer without, huh? They say, what did you roll around in a bunch of flowers, huh? Well, she might like a hooker. Now I wish that they would run a little bit for you guys so that I could show you what they look like when they run. It's pretty adorable. Llamas actually have, I believe, now I can't remember if it's four or five gates. So hi. So you know, horses have different gates. They have a walk, they have a trot, they have a canter lope. Then you have like gated horses, like a Tennessee walking horse, they have their specific gait. So um, llamas have a few different gates as well, but one of them, which is my very favorite, but you rarely ever see them do it. It's not something they do a lot. It's called pronking, P-R-O-N-K-I-N-G, pronking or to pronk. And that is that llama skip jump thing. That's those cute videos you see of llamas like skipping, boing, 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 boing. And it's sort of like a tigger, like jump, boing, boing, boing. That's called pronking. And they don't do it super often, but I haven't, I haven't seen them pronk yet. I'm hoping that as they settle in and get more comfortable and more aware of their space, they'll feel more comfortable to pronk but I haven't no, Mom, seen them do it yet. Mom, we get caught cronking. Cronking? Yeah. Like cronking. Um, don't. Hey! Mom, don't you need to come from Liza. She's covered in mud right now after doing her mud bath. She, she did a mud bath? 
Yeah, right after we were done, uh, take our hair was done taking her on a walk. She went ahead and had a little mud bath after that. So now she's completely. And messy. where was the mud bath at? Right there in her little mud pit that she dug up there. Oh lord! All right, let's it's go check on the paint. other animals here. So Shelby and the boys have been out here cleaning out the goat barn. Um, CR is getting the supplies so we can finally finish this. But um, we're on a time crunch again because I lied. Hi! Oh my oh, gosh! Lizzy, you all covered in mud, girl! Where are you giving her a bath at? Uh, water trough. I'll explain that to you in a second. In this one? Yeah, I'll explain to you what we're doing. Oh, in okay. A all right. Are I you? I assume you're just gonna do it and then clean yeah, it out and refill it. it. Close we're the gate, guys. Because they're so messy. I refuse to be in the bathtub. Hey, Ruthie. So hey, messy. Ruthie. See so. right there. It's already dried up because we put some uh, old hay in here. This is oh, okay. So you just gave her some water in that. Yeah, see, and then she's gotcha. dried up already. Okay. Ruthie, Ruthie didn't bath. want to have a mud bath. No, she did, but she's she she's just not as obvious on her because she didn't get as much, and she's a more brown color. Oh, I see. Oh, look at how much the barn right. Now. All right, so they've got all this. Woo! We need to take this to the compost. There's yeah, flies we're all walk over down it. There ourselves since the golf cart. All right, ended. nice work, guys. Something nice, about. nice work in here. So now, before out. we put everything down, we need to put some more lime and some more. Um, we have two different products. We've got a lime and now I can't think of the name of the other one, but we need to put them both down before we add any more shavings and to take that bag down and wet it and let it set up, you know, expand. The boy no, boys, don't go in there, there's poop. Boys, come on. Come on. Now, Lysy, don't get Don't go in there, you goofball. This is not very good. Gosh, the flies are everywhere because of sitting. all that poop. All right, I just got back. I had to run a couple errands. One of which did not pan out. I ordered some printing stuff. Um, <laughs> you have a little bit of a chance. Um, yeah. Um, I ordered some homeschool stuff from like Staples or whatever. And they were like, oh, we couldn't print it because uh, it's copyright. And I'm like, no, I like ordered it. They send you a download and then you print it. Like, that's how this works. And he was like, sorry, you're going to have to get a, a note from them saying you can print it. And I'm like, a note from them. It's not my teacher. It's a business. Like, so I got to figure out how to handle that because I need that for school this week. What's up? Nice. Very nice. Lovely. And then I got the paint for the piano entryway room. Um, I can't exactly show you the color, but it's one of those Benjamin Moore colors that I showed you guys a while back. Finally picked which one. So this room is kind of painted a lighter color since the ceilings are so and low. Too, and then in here we've got all these windows and a like vaulted ceiling or whatever. So I can do a slightly darker color in here and I want to um, to, to uh, make it look a little nicer with the piano and everything. So I'm gonna change out that fan um, for like a chandelier and try to make this more of like a, a nicer entry. I feel like you're getting a little handsy there, my friend. Get a little handsy. Got my pile of Christmas decorations over there ready to go. I just want to get this stuff done so I can start working on Christmas decorations. And I've got stuff for outside to do the entryway and the fences. Are we getting ready for Christmas? We're getting ready for Christmas. Hey man, hey, can you show everybody how you do your point? JJ, or JJ, goodness gracious. BB-8, can you point? <laughs> yeah, 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 he's mad at me right Benjamin. now. Benjamin. Benjamin, that's what Rosie said. So Benjamin, come on, man. Hey, Mom. Come on, man. Mom, it's you. Be happy, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, Mom. He is cute, huh? You're pretty cute, too. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. You do have something on your face, what? which I think is a fuzz, but it kind of looks like you got a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fuzz on your face. By your, yeah, there you go. How'd you get that bump on your noodle? What is it? You got a bump on your noodle. How'd you get that bump on your head right there? That one? Yeah. Oh, I did bump your head. You bumped your head? Yeah. On what? Crying. And no, I broke bump your head. That one. Noah. It was an accident? Yeah. Yeah. Mine. I'm sure it was an accident. I killed He wouldn't bonk your noodle on purpose. It was an accident. Why are you in a bad mood now? He's in a bad mood now. Why are you in a bad mood? Okay, man. Why? Oh, 
serious. You enjoy. Gosh, you're really hard to make smile right now. This is like crickets. This must be what it feels like to be a stand-up comedian and nobody laughs at your jokes. That's what that feels like right now. You know what? Crickets. Bah. Crickets. Oh, you'll laugh at Rosie. I see. Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad. Where's Dad, Dad? We Dad. Can you say Mama? Mama. That's right, Mama. Daddy. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for playing. Me too. What is it? Me blues. Rocket ship. A rocket ship? Yeah. Like a banana. Me? Wow. I love your rocket ship. I'm making ship. rocket ship. You did make a rocket ship. I love it. Good job. Time to end lay vlog. Lay vlog. Lay vlog. Lay vlog. Sierra and I are getting ready to go live in a, our private the private group, the private homeschool group. We're doing a book club in there, and uh, once a week this cat joins me to discuss the book. This one's a parenting book. How do you feel about this it? This one is like speaking to little kids CR here. Just peeling back the layers. What's going on? Same. I actually cried listening to some of it yesterday when I was painting because I was like, I feel so seen. It's really good. And it's really supposed to be about the kids, but we're both like, oh, this like kicks up all your old childhood stuff. Well, and it's struggles. like, it's just very, like, I'm pretty sure that's a couple times they said like, CR, this is what you do. Don't do that. Don't do that thing. And he says he feels like they wrote it I, at, at me. him. Not even, <laughs> not even for me, at me. Yeah. Um, can we talk about the size of this giant cast iron skillet that I love? Yeah, the big huge. skillet. It's like, I mean, that's at least 13, I don't know, 14 inches maybe? Don't. Your measurement skills are slightly off, but. It's a giant cast iron It is a giant skillet. It's clean, but it's huge. I made a skillet cookie in this bad boy one time. It lasted about. They've 20, seen your skillet cookie. Three days in this thing. They've seen your skillet the cookie. cookie in the world. Yeah, but I've only known one. The biggest cookie. I work in back. I see no smiles. I see no smiles. Name that movie. Gosh, I wish we had comments. I work in back. I see no smiles. It's been like a, it's been it's been a year and a half. And still, no YouTube took our comments away in March of 2019. We got we've had them back like two or three times randomly, but otherwise, it's been a year and a half without comments on this channel. BS, I tell you. BS. There's comments on your personal Yeah, there's channel. comments on my personal channel, which sometimes people don't realize. They'll be like, yay, your comments are back, and they'll comment on a video over there, and I'm like, not the same channel. Yeah, let's close um, this one out, Azzy. Yeah, let's let Azzy end it for the night. Azzy, who's refusing to come in, come because in this is the come nature on. of... Are you ready? Um, oh, now he'll come in for me. Oh. Great Pyrenees. They love he'll to be outside. I mean, a lot of dogs do, but... They can be kind of stubborn, and so they'll stand at the back door and make it look like they want to come in, but then when you open the door, they won't come in. So, I did the smart thing and I joined some a bunch of Facebook groups for oh, people nice. who have Great Pyrenees, so that we could learn more about the breed, because I know they're very stubborn, and there's just a lot of things with this breed. That's just because so, he knows he's smart. Yeah. He's, 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 he's starting, to, like the instinct stuff is starting to Yeah, he herds the goats. He herds the goats, um, the llama. He's starting in with the llamas. Um, and then to your point, he just, right now, he, he's starting to want to be outside more. And uh -huh. he'll just hang out on the porch and kind of roll around the perimeter and then. Yeah. He does yeah. his little perimeter walks and stuff. And I know the older he, he's he, he gets. 11 weeks old, um, 12 weeks old. Yeah, he's 12 weeks old. And the older he gets, the more he'll do these like perimeter walks and stuff around the property at night. And I know a lot of people who say like, their uh, Great Pyrenees will not like settle in for the night until they've done their perimeter walk of the property and stuff. So uh, they are very smart, very stubborn dogs um, because they have sort of one instinctual job. And if you don't let them do it, uh, they, they are harder to train because as I understand it, they pretty much feel like they know better than you. And so they're like, I love you and I wanna make you happy but I also think I know more than you, so I'm not gonna listen to you. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I've, we of course, just like with every other animal, we did a bunch of research and stuff. Sit. 
Good boy. Good boy. Party time. He's just, you're a good boy. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, Benji loves Benny. him. Benji likes to climb on him Benny. and roll around on him. Benny, can you sit? Sit. Sit? Sit. You're telling him to sit? He's Daddy, already sitting. No. Sit. He sit. He really good down. Sit. Wait. Ask yeah, him. sit. <laughs> Not you. We don't need to train the baby. Simon, just sit down. Simon, <laughs> want a jiggy for a figgy? Yeah, you gonna do a jiggy for a figgy? CR finally got to see him do a jiggy for a figgy. <laughs> You know it's hilarious. It's pretty good. <laughs> what, do a jiggy for a figgy? You do a jiggy for a figgy? <laughs> oh, he's just gonna come sit on me. He's like, nope, but you. That's such a fake laugh. You're number one. Oh yeah, you number one. <laughs> yeah, Ben. Getting figgy with it. Na 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 na. Getting figgy with it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Da -da. Da -da. Okay, can you say goodbye? Can you help us close out the vlog? Can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Oh, look at him laying down. Can you say bye bye? <laughs> Millie's like, I'll do it. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> da -da. Bye bye. Can you say? Oh, that's a nice kiss. Bye bye. Bye. Millie, can you bye. Do a kiss? Bye. Bye. That's what I say. Bye. bye. Wake up in the morning in this great blue state. Golden fingers caress my face, slips through the window.